There's no better motivation than someone telling you it can't be done, that you're wasting time, you're wasting money. Well, this is my time, my money. If it's something you love, it's not a waste. You do you, I'll do me. What is up guys welcome to the channel um you may have noticed that the channel name has changed it's no longer gray ghost 3.7 um now change my social media on instagram and facebook to doomsday 410 um just a couple reasons why i did that um one you know this car won't last forever um, you know, mileage creeps up. It's a daily driver and things like that. So my thought was really, you know, if in a couple years I get a different car and it's a different color or it's a 5.0 maybe or something else completely different, I didn't want to have to go about changing my name at that point, you know, two years down the line or something like that. So um, if you don't recognize Doomsday, the name is from uh, Superman. He's a guy that killed the unkillable he killed superman uh the guy we all th thought couldn't be beat so i thought it was a, a good name for this car because that's in my plans and that's the things i try to do is beat things that think they can't be beat by me in this car um, so doomsday uh 410 the car is now referred to as doomsday um, you saw there in the beginning i've got a uh, decal in the window that says doomsday as well uh, where the 410 comes in, that's a shout out to my hometown where I was born and raised, Baltimore, Maryland. Go Ravens. Uh, hoping they take out the Chargers tomorrow. Uh, be a tough task, but I think they can do it. Uh, so there you go, guys. Doomsday 410. Uh, new channel name. Let me know your thoughts um, in the comments section. Uh, but on to the topic of today's video. Um, 3.7 Cyclone V6 quarter mile list where did i get this list from uh I'll tell you right now i didn't even know it existed uh a month or two ago really didn't um i um anybody that knows me knows that i ditched facebook about two years ago and never looked back i, I just got tired of people posting pictures of what they ate for lunch and you know uh ranting about politics or religion or whatever those stuff and there's nothing wrong with those things but you know, every time I opened it, that's all I saw. I just got tired of it, so I ditched it. Um, then I found out about this quarter mile list. Uh, there's a Cyclone Facebook group, um, and they've got a top 100, I think it is, overall fastest quarter mile list. They've got fastest naturally aspirated list, and then they've got a fasted power adder list. Um, and once I heard about that, I was like, man, I gotta get back on there, join this group, and see what it's all about. Um, and just so you know, I'll leave it in the uh, description. I'll leave the name of the group. So if you're on Facebook and you want to join and you've got a 3.7 uh, liter cyclone, uh, you can get on there, man. There's some, some guys on there. Uh, I've got a ton of knowledge about these cars, man. We even got some vendors that are on the page too. So definitely check it out if you got one of these cyclones. But man, the list, when I started looking at it, I, I was just blown away by what I saw on this list. Um, the uh, even the naturally aspirated cars, you know, full bolt on and all that stuff. Um, some of the times they're running, really impressive, man. So I, I, I've never thought these cars couldn't be made fast, but you know, I was pleasantly surprised by how fast some people have actually made them. 
Uh, so that's where we get into the power adder list. Um, the overall top 10 list, and I'm gonna put some, some photos or screenshots up here in a minute to show you these times. Now I've blocked out the names uh, because it is, uh, it is a closed group. You have to request to join. Uh, so I'm not gonna just go put people's names out there and all that stuff, but I'm gonna put some pictures up so you can actually see the things I'm talking about. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started with number 10 on the list. Uh, gentleman's running a P1SC, the same Pro Charger I have. Uh, ran 11063, uh, trapped 125. Uh, number nine car on the list, LPF Turbo. Uh, ran a 10912 at 124. Uh, number eight, he has a D1 SC Pro Charger, ran a 10895 at 125. Number seven, LPF Turbo, 10.768 at 128. Um, number six, JMP Turbo, uh, 10663 at 129. Number five, CFM Turbo, 10.569 at 130. Number four, Schuler Turbo, 10385 at 137. Number three, JMP Turbo, 10.374 at 132. Um, number two, LPF Turbo, 10.183 at 132. And number one, uh, and this is gonna blow your mind because it blew my mind, LPF Turbo, 9.888 at 138. What's even more impressive about this list, guys, is with the exception of the number one and number two times, both of those guys have built motors, number three through 10 are on factory sealed motors. They're not built motors. They're exactly the way they came from Ford when they drove them off the lot. Uh, these guys are running, you know, 10s and, and, and the number 10 guys in the very low 11s, 11 or whatever it was. Um, you might say, hey, you got a P1SC and there's only one guy in the top 10. Yeah, it's mostly turbos, guys. It's pretty obvious uh, guys are, are, are making some great results with those things. Um, but I will tell you, if you go in and look at like the 11 through 20 on there, there's a lot of P1SC Pro Chargers in there. So your next question might be, am I on this list? And if I am, where am I? Uh, the answer to that is yes, I'm on my list. If you watched my... Um, quarter mile track video out at Beach Bend where I met Stang Mode and did an interview with him. You know that I ran a 12.7 that day at 108. Um, that time, and, and mind you, that was my third quarter mile run ever in this car. Uh, I've always been running eighth mile, so I'm not going to say that I don't have eighth mile experience with this car, but that was my third ever quarter mile run in this car. Uh, 12.7, 9.7 at 108 and some change. Uh, that put me at number 35 on the top 100 fastest cyclones list. Uh, am I saying that I'm the man now because I'm one to listen all that stuff? No, not at all, guys. I, I'm, I'm completely honored to be on that list. Uh, completely honored to, to be in the top 40 or however you want to rank them. Um, but I'll tell you right now, I, I believe my car has got a lot more in it. And I've got some upgrades coming up here really soon. Um, that are going to help me get to that goal. My goal is to get in the top 20. Um, I don't think top 10 is reasonable because this car being a daily driver and all, the miles are really stacking up. And by the time I could get everything done to this car to, to maybe challenge that top 10, I think my miles are probably going to be way too high to keep sinking money into this car. Uh, it sucks, but it is what it is. But that being said, we still got some time together, me and Doomsday. So we're not done yet. Um, we're, we're going to take a shot at that top 20 uh, come spring and see if we can't crack into it uh, with the things I have coming up. Um, so, guys, let me know what you think about this list, man. Let me know if you're, if you're already on the group, you already knew the list. And, and, guys, there might be guys out there that aren't even on this list that run even faster times. I, I don't know. I'm just going by the list that we have posted based on the members of the group. Uh, but there's some damn impressive times, man. So, if you ever needed further proof that these cars can be made absolute beasts, there, there's your proof right there, man. Guys running 9.8 in a 3.7. Um, guys running 10 flats and all that good stuff. Those guys, um, they took these cars serious. They put a lot of time and effort and thought process into their builds and a ton of practice at the track to crank out times like that. 
I don't care what card you got. Uh, you're not just going to go out there and run tens at the track just because you bought some, you know, uh, factory built race car. It takes practice, man. Trust me on that. Uh, so uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Guys, stay tuned. Um, next week, I'm going to be doing a, a pretty big upgrade to this car and I'm going to document the whole thing. I'm going to document the uh, mechanical change that I have to make. Uh, I'm going to make sure I record all that for you guys and walk you through what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. Um, then I'm going to be doing some retuner with my tuner, MPT. I uh, love those guys. Um, and I'm going to have to do some data logging for that. So I'm going to document the whole data logging process as well. Um, put that out. Probably be two, three videos, something like that, until I get to the final, final uh, revision. And then I'll do a review after the entire process is done and let you know my thoughts on that. But um, hey, guys, um, whatever you may be celebrating this time of the year, whether it's Christmas, New Year's, all, or something else completely different, I uh, hope you enjoy this time of year. We'll pick this back up. Um, Possibly in between Christmas and New Year's, might be after New Year's. It'll really depend on how fast I'm getting the, the, the initial tune and, and get the mechanical work done. But uh, uh, happy holidays to you and yours. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, do me a favor, hit that notification button, man. And um, remember what I always say, guys. Deeds, not words. Until next time, thanks for watching. Doomsday 410.